This hidden miracle from the Quran completely blew my mind. The Quran precisely mentions the speed of light 1400 years ago. Let me explain. Behind a great verse, there is a hidden signal to the speed of light. Recently, that signal was discovered by scientists. Allah says, And verily, a day with your Lord is as a thousand years of what you reckon. Muslims believe that angels are created from light, and Allah said in the Quran that angels travel in a day that is equal to 1,000 years for us humans. In 1969, during their trip to the moon, the astronauts put glass mirrors on the surface of the moon and scientists on Earth sent a laser beam to be reflected on these mirrors back again to the Earth. By that, they calculated the precise distance between Earth and the moon. If we observe the moon from outside the solar system, we can see that the moon revolves completely around Earth every 27.3 days. But because Earth revolves around itself, we see the moon is completing the round every 29.5 days. The question is, what is the travel distance by the moon around Earth in 1,000 years? A Muslim scientist put forward an idea which is, the holy verse refers to two equal times and that is some kind of the relative. Allah says, and verily, a day with your Lord is as a thousand years of what you reckon. Surat Al-Hajj, verse 47. So we have a day in 1,000 years. How can we make them equal? And what is the common factor? Scientists consider the speed of light to be a distinguished speed, and there is no object that can be able to reach that speed. So whenever the speed of an object increases, the time for that object will slow down. Therefore, if any object reaches the speed of light, the time will stop for that object. That is the summary of the theory of relativity. A photo of the real distance between the moon and Earth. The moon revolves around Earth in a non-circular orbit. The distance between both of them is about 384,000 km. Moon revolves around Earth at a speed of 1 km second. According to international standards, the speed of the light in the empty space is 299792 km a second. If we call the mentioned day in the verse the cosmic day to distinguish it from our ordinary day, so according to the holy verse, we can write the equation as the following. One cosmic day, 1,000 year. So there is a hidden relationship between the length of the day and the length of the 1,000 years. What is the relation? One, calculation of the length of the 1,000 years. The determination of months and years is based on the movement of the moon. So the month for us is one complete round for the moon around the earth. We know that the moon revolves one round every month around earth, so it will be 12 rounds in the year. Allah says, Verily the number of months with Allah is 12 months in a year. Surat at Tawbah, verse 36. In a simple calculation based on the real month, the moon travels 2015-26-112-27 km around the Earth in a complete round. This distance represents the length of the orbit that the moon takes while a complete round during one month. So the distance per year is 20-hun-fight-226-12-27-x-12-8-258-3-1-3-4-7 km and in 1,000 year is 2583134 x 1000 2583134 km. Two, calculation of the length of one day. The day is 24 hours, and in seconds, it is 8164 seconds according to international standards. Right now, we have the value of 1,000 years, 2583134 km, which is the distance, and we have the length of the day, 861 and 64 seconds, which is the time. Hence, to realize the hidden relation between distance and time, we can use the known formula, speed aches distance, time. After applying these figures in the formula, we can see the surprise, which is the cosmic speed, AC 258313474000861648299792 ace km like second, which is exactly the speed of the light. Therefore, we can realize that the signal in the holy verse is the speed of light by liking the one day and the 1,000 years. This is a scientific precedence for the Quran, and it wouldn't be a coincidence. So you can ask yourself this question. How could a prophet 1400 years ago, who was illiterate, know the speed of light without any modern technology?